Ah, Mr. Toe. Okay, hi boys and girls. This is your old pal Uncle Al. That was for Hose Cat. Yep. It's really hard when you only have five upper teeth. It's for uh, uh, whatchamacallit? The Angry Pirate News. Yo ho! Uh, uh. And Dino too! Uh, uh, uh. And a lot of people are asking me, what's Uncle Al's Opel? This one. And it's called the Twistmaster. It's an old discontinued product of cold steel. I liked it and I carried it in the 90s. And I did a lot of things from bushcrafting to gutting out somebody's kidney. So, like I said, it's an old knife. Not the world's fastest. Oops. But it is the world's strongest. Gotta make sure that collar's on all right. There. The world's also the slowest. But once it's opened up and locked with that heavy steel gauge ring, I chop through a 4x4 four four or 2x4. Two 2x4. Four, two four. Okay. This is a blog for the next three days. Okay, Uncle Alan has fun. I was going to try to do this blog with a knife between my teeth, but if you've seen it, I was cut off something important. Okay, remember I told everybody to have a bucket? This is my two gallon one. Why? Because in the next three days, 72 hours, a lot of people in Congress is going to get in trouble. Those 100 new idiots on both sides of the aisle didn't realize that A, in less than three days' time, okay, three days, 72 hours, they have to permanently lay off part-time workers, that's federal workers, you know, those millennial slackers, and um, Generation Y, the whiners, and all those commie idiot college kids, they're going to get let go. And big surprise, a lot of contract workers are going to get let go. Permanent workers do not have to worry until the next cycle of 30 days. Then you're going to get it. So how many people are being affected by this? Well, 350,000 temporary non-essential personnel from 16 different departments and unfortunately um, that on YouTube that's including NASA so I would check around get your resume out and check around for another job or get a good part-time job because you're not going back to NASA okay thanks to my friend Steve in uh, Tennessee and also my family just came back from L.A. brought me a month worth of groceries. I have used what Steve gave me to put in my two-gallon bucket. Now I have long grain rice. And I forgot who told me this is Kiowa, not Winona. Anyway, I eat the same. It's pretty good. And I have Supa that I can either mix those two with this. I like this brand. I have green split peas, which is really good. And for Hubble's cat, if you're in the British Army, they call these the Green Death. Never used a British Army toilet. And being a country boy, you got to have your gravy. Pepper gravy. And I got my potted meats. Yeah, I don't want to take everything out. I got a few other canned goods in there. And I got Butterbilt biscuits. Why is this important, guys? Well, like I said, next three days, some people, about 300,000, are going to get let go. And also, Afra is doing something crazy in Seattle and Portland and Eugene protesting something. I have no idea. 
<clears throat> and they're planning to go after the local cops. So please be careful. Like I said in the previous video, I seen a big shipment of armored cars heading towards Washington and Oregon. These are military style cars they use in Iraq and Kuwait. They're not kidding around, folks. These boneheads try something. I think I know why they ordered a lot of 50 cal. And if you're around there, I don't think you should. <laughs> They're not going to look too hot. So anyway, boys and girls, take care. Be careful. Fill up your um, gas tank of your car. I did with my spare gas tank, too. I do have a car and a generator for my battery bank because a lot of people don't have a battery bank. And they're, well, I can't curse right now, but there are several curse words that I think the Angry Pirate News will be embarrassed. Now, Will Russell, who was in the Navy, knows what I'm talking about. Two, okay, the big thing is you want to have one gallon of water for per person in your family. So like Dad on YouTube in Alabama, that's four people. So you should have four gallons for three days. That's 12 gallons of water. So you better not have like these little rinky one gallon jugs, but a good solid five gallon jug that the military use called Spectre. That's part of my water series. I had a two-parter. So I tell a lot of people, especially kids, you should have three or four of them. Why? Because it's easy to put in your car. You only need two. That's 10 gallons plus two smaller one gallon sizes to split up your to your family. So a lot of people don't listen to Uncle Alan. They should. Like I said, the next 72 hours is going to be fun, folks. We have a possibility of tornadoes where Lily in the Wild will be. Think of the old movie Wizard of Oz. Lily, I'm flying. Just make sure you don't get a house landed on top of you. Be really careful, folks. Uh, up and down where the five states hook up to the Mississippi. I got this weird calculation for sudden tornadoes or snow. I can't figure out which one it is, but it's going to be pretty violent, and I'm still working on the minor details. So if you hear a thunderstorm or a thunderstorm with uh, icy rain and hail, look for shelter in your basement. Okay, kids, I'll catch you later. Sorry I couldn't do any shout-outs today, but I will do two. Angry Pirate News, okay? Hubble's cat, go check out his uh, video with... On uh, Corsair trainers, Uncle Alan's losing his mind uh, because Uncle Alan's been taking anti seizure medicine all day from the doctors, which is not fun. As Wes S. Son Leland, it makes you goofy as hell. All right, and I'll catch you later, boys and girls. Bye.